same thing. I yeah. know. And I think though, also being in like a pandemic in the middle of your twenties is also super hard because you're already at that like questioning point where you're like, you don't know what you want to do, but then now you're kind of are like forced into kind of a pause and you didn't want to really be there. So now you're like, don't even know what I wanted to do. Now I don't even know how to like move on from here. So totally understand that on like where everyone I think is really feeling the effects of that. Like how you're saying, like kind of waking up and feel that mental health is really taking a toll. But I, I totally think that the pandemic has a lot to do with that too. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. When the pandemic first began, I told people, I'm like, cause everyone now sees 94 productions, 94 collection, all these brands that I created. And yeah. when the first three, four months, like it happened, I literally was driving everyone in this house insane. Like my parents, my sister, because <laughs> I just couldn't believe. Yeah. Cause I just couldn't believe I was in a, in a predicament again, where, you know, cause I right. quit my job. Uh, when I turned 25, I was working at Bell quit that job. Cause again, same thing as you, I needed something different and I was tired of working like sales. Um, even mm -hmm. though I studied marketing, I knew that wasn't entirely what I wanted to do. So I decided to give myself, you know, at least a year to figure myself out, you know, went to California, came back with a mission and then the pandemic hits and you're saying to yourself, like, what do I do now? And people forget right. now it's like, you know, no one wears a mask, no one cares, but people forget back in like March, 2020, April, 2020, like you didn't know what was going to happen. You didn't know if you're going to be in your house for like for a very long time. Um, yeah. so it was highly threatening to you know, my trajectory, like where I wanted to, to be with this career. Um, but it all panned out. It all worked out for the best. Uh, I think that speaks to like, you know, my tenacity. Um, yeah, my exactly. And your consistency is like crazy. So that's really good. Thank you. That's yeah. That's like a key thing. You got to stay consistent and you have been. So I appreciate that. Yeah. And that's why I do. And honestly, it's common, like compliments, like coming from you, um, you know, when you reached out to me and you told me how much you love my podcast, Mm -hmm. I, on, I, I'll be honest, like that just really uh, gave me some motivation, like gave me an inspiration to keep going. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, I've had other compliments along the way, but no, I'm serious. Like yeah. I do it. For oh, the I audience. wasn't the only one. What the yeah, right. I know. Only Jesse. <laughs> I have a, I have actually a picture only me. frame. You don't see it, but yeah. it's out of frame. It's a picture frame. You have of that a comic. shrine. That's kind of crazy, but expect oh, I didn't say a shrine. Yeah. I said a picture <laughs> frame, but your fantasy is going a little bit It's okay. Bit too I just far. exposed you. It's fine.